All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna do something a little different. It's not really automotive related today, but uh, it kind of is because I'd like to stay warm this winter in my little mini shop that I have. I have a garage, it's insulated, but it's not completely finished. And then I have a little like 12 by 12 workshop in my backyard right here. These diesel heaters are all the rage. I'm sure you've seen them on YouTube, on TikTok, whatever your uh, choice for social media is, but uh, they seem to work really well. Uh, they were made for, I believe, like RVs or vans or camping, something like that, because you just run them on diesel or waste water oil. Uh, so I figured, hey, if it'll, it'll run something like that, it'll definitely heat my little shop. So I went ahead and, and got one. Uh, it is a Vivor or Vevor brand. We can see uh, right here. Let's go ahead and show you. It is a Vevor uh, 8K. Some people say that the 8 and the 5K are exactly the same. I don't know. So you guys can do your own research on that. Uh, I wanted a black one. And so this is the one I got. I think on the Vivo website, it was like $110 on sale. So uh, for that, I couldn't beat it. My main deal, I have a in heater buddy and it's great and it really heats up this area, but with little, little kids around, I don't really want to be having to constantly uh, shoo them away or watch them. So I could put this up out of the way and hopefully it should be able to heat my area fairly decent and let the kids run around without really uh, too too much worry. The propane, if you run it for you know seven, eight hours, it'll go through a hole or a propane tank, which is about $17 for you know seven or eight hours. So that doesn't really seem too practical to me, especially when these can be ran on uh, completely waste motor oil. Uh, or you know mix diesel waste motor oil whatever you want still even if you ran straight diesel straight diesel is in california right now it's 550 a gallon people say you can run these for 20 to 24 hours depending on how high how hot you have them on one gallon so you do the math 24 hours for one gallon five dollars and fifty cents versus seven or eight or ten hours if depending on how hot you have the uh, propane mr heater uh it's a no-brainer hey you know so figured i'd try this out uh, i don't want to run a battery so i went ahead and i got one of these amazon uh one of these amazon uh 110 to 12 volt adapters this one has a fan built in so you don't have to worry about overheating and this was like 20 dollars on amazon uh, i'll show you guys how to wire this up probably do a separate video on just this right here or shit, maybe I'll just do one and it'll be a one-stop shop today. So I got an old extension cord that I ran over with something. So this will work with that. You got that and then you can see it comes, I bought this at Home Depot today. Uh, it's a little three inch stove pipe. It's gonna wrap around so I can point the vent either inside the garage or out here depending on what I'm doing. Came with a muffler, an exhaust pipe, an intake, and this little vent right here. You can know, you can aim it a little bit better. Uh, pretty good for 110 bucks plus 20 Amazon Prime. You know, Vivor does sell an adapter, so if you just want to get this thing shipped, that thing shipped in like 28 hours. It was at my door from the time I ordered it, which is insane. Uh, so that in itself is pretty awesome. Uh, this, even though it was a prime item, it took like five days. Don't really understand that. But if you want today and get it, you know, tomorrow or the next day, I would say go with the Vivor. They have this same thing. It's uh, like 35 bucks, but what's a few more dollars and get it all the same. I'm just going to uh, probably mount this thing like right here or off to the side. I don't know, it's not a big deal to me because I'm not going to be moving it. I'm going to build a little stand right here. Heat sink exhaust thing, so it's not going to be getting moved unless it's uh, summertime, and then that's not a big deal. But uh, it's super lightweight and has a little key fob, so if I'm 
I have my plasma CNC table inside my garage and I also have a computer and I'll sit out here and design. So if I'm out here designing and it's late or it's just cold, I wanna be at least comfortable. I don't wanna be freezing. So uh, that's why I got this and hopefully it'll do everything I need it to do. But uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get everything all set up and, and uh, we'll get this thing fired up and see how it goes. It's just gonna be quick and dirty. So this one right here is gonna be your lead wire. So when you're looking at the plug, it's gonna be, if you're looking at the wall outlet, it's gonna be your right. If you're looking at the plug, it's gonna be your left. And that's gonna be your black wire. And that would be your lead. The neutral is white. And the neutral is gonna be that terminal right there, which if you're looking at the wall outlet, it would be on your left. And then that is your ground, which goes right here to the ground. And you have your voltage negative and your voltage positive. I've already verified that these have the uh, the correct pinout as what I want. Now I'm just going to verify that this has an output of 12 volts when I plug it in. Then we got the green light. Might be able to hear the fans on. We got 12 volts with both of those hooked up. I might actually try and adjust that little yellow thing to get a little bit more voltage. Almost 14 right now, which should work fine. I just spun that little yellow knob clockwise, just a hair. You can hear the fan pick up in speed just a little bit. You see right here, it's a 30 amp, 12 volt converter, Amazon special. Just a little extension cord that's uh, down and dirty, super easy. Now let's hook it up to the diesel heater. All right, so I just literally zip tied that up there for just uh, to be quick and see if it's gonna work. I filled her up, it's turned on. Definitely gonna need to add an on off switch because I don't like how it just turns on when you plug it in. I got the exhaust plumbed outside wrapped up, sealed nice and tight. Now, let's look at the instructions and see how to get this going. All right, so 17 minutes of me trying to get through that. The directions are absolute garbage. So I just started pressing buttons, looking at this until I kind of figured it out. I was able to prime it, no problem. But you can kind of probably hear it fired up. I was getting everything kind of figured out and seems like we should be uh, cooking here shortly. There's definitely some heat coming out of there. So I had it run, I uh, just turned it off. So I can't tell you how long it ran for. It was a, about an hour. And this thing, probably the last like 15 minutes really came on. It says 17, but it's, uh, I don't know what that is in Celsius. I guess I could look it up and tell you guys, but it's cooling down right now. The, uh, the fan just stays on, the pump turns off. As soon as you just hold it turns off, it's going to run like a cool down for as long as it needs to. So definitely don't disconnect the power. Um, it's three in the morning. I got to go to work, but this thing ran for probably about an hour. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy with it so far. I can't wait till I have a day off and I could let it run for two, three hours and really see what it'll do. So far, so good. I'm uh, happy. hundred bucks. Really? What can you... You can't go wrong for a little over $100. It truly beats the hell out of the propane and it doesn't circulate any air like this does. And you have to be worried about carbon monoxide. I do have a carbon monoxide detector, but also with kids running around, uh, this is much, much, much more safe than a uh, one of those propane heater dishes. So um, yeah. 
I'll uh, go ahead and post this up. You know, as of right now, I, I'd say it's a, it's a solid nine out of 10. I'd give it a 10 out of 10, but that, that, that screen, it's a little difficult to, uh, it's a little difficult to get the hang of it. And I still wouldn't say I even have the hang of it, but it works and I understand it somewhat. My initial thoughts on the Vivor 8K diesel heater. Uh, I haven't got to run it a full day, which that'll be the true test. Now it definitely takes the edge off in the shop and that's all I'm really looking for. I don't want to just dread coming out here. Uh, so hopefully over this winter, I'll be able to get my two car garage a little bit warmer while I design some, uh, some CAD and uh, maybe get some plasma table projects flowing and more stuff for the OBS. Uh, thanks guys, this is OBS Bryce. I'll see you guys next time.